Hi there, this is Dale. We are continue our series on making Google and Blackboard best friends. And I'm going to show you what I think for me is one of the cooler functions of uh, the Google Apps for Education and Blackboard and trying to get them to get along well. And that's using Google Sites and embedding them into your Blackboard as sort of like a home page. Um, you know, the home page for Blackboard works really, really well in eAchieve and online schools, but um, for face-to-face, -face, I think a Google site can work real well. So here's just a, a final example here, real quick, that I can show you. Um, this is a Google site that I sort of uh, mess around with and use as my test site. But what I really like is that even when you're up on the Google uh, in Blackboard, you can go around this site and you can see, um, you know, the different pages. You can search this site or go through this site or utilize this site within the Blackboard. Uh, you know, the Blackboard walls. The advantage of this is that students uh, have to still sign into Blackboard uh, to use this. And I think um, there's some security there that, m that makes people feel better. And I, and I do think it's certainly more secure. So let's show you how to do this. Um, we turn our text editor on. By the way, if you see this here, the reason you can see the fact that I can edit this um, this. Google site here is because I'm signed in right now to my Google account. If I were not signed in, you couldn't see this. If you were a student, you could not see this. Now, the only reason you can see it is because I personally am signed into my Google account so that I can show some things as I make these presentations. So I'm going to turn the text editor on or the edit mode on. You can see that it becomes very different. So let me show you how to get here. Most of the time, you would go over here to the plus symbol and go to content area and you could build your content through there. Instead, we're going to use something different, um, and we're going to click on blank page. And when we do, um, it, we want to add a name, and I'm just going to put home page three, because I've done this a couple times, and then I'm going to click on available to users, and I'm going to click submit. And what you'll see is that, first of all, it's at the bottom here, and we would want to try to move that up to the top or where we would want it on the side, but you see it's, a, it's a, essentially a blank page. Um, it looks much like if you were to, uh, to create a content area and create an item. This really kind of is an item, but it's an item as a page. So you can see we have the text editor through here, the ability to have an attachment, uh, viewing permissions, and that sort of thing. Well, here's what you want to do. Let's go back to our the handout that you may be looking at right now and take a look at this Google Sites part of Blackboard and Google. Uh, being coming BFFs. This is the HTML code. I searched long and, long and far on the internet with um, for this HTML code and um, this is what I found. Um, the only thing that you need to change um, is when you create your Google site you put your URL right here where I've highlighted. And I'll, I'll go off highlight but you see I put this right through here. You would put your you know site HTTPS uh, colon backslash sites.google.com slash a slash whatever your Google site is. Um, if you're using district Google sites, um, it'll say walkshot.k12.w.us and then whatever you named it. This is where you need to put it. It's a simple copy paste, right? So if I want to use this, I do a simple copy paste, okay? Um, so I copy, right? And then I go back to this item that I created. I go back to this less than, greater than that we've used and we're going to use in future videos and I click on that. I get rid of this junk here because that's what I always do. Uh, and I simply paste. Um, and what will happen is uh, when you take the less than, greater than off, um, you'll see the website. And this is a different site that I've worked on. Again, you can see that I've signed in. Uh, but this is a, a, a different site that I used last year when I was experimenting with this. But that is the Google site that you can put in there. Now I'm going to cancel. Um, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to keep. The, oh, I suppose we could submit it here. We click submit, um, and of course um, we have to refresh because why we are in um, we are in Google Chrome. We click on homepage three, and there's the site that we just had. Okay, so I have two two Google sites embedded here. Probably not best, but it's our, my test site now. Here's the last part I want to show you. If we go down into our tools and we go to customization and we click on teaching style. When we click on teaching style, there's a couple things. If you haven't been here yet, 
Um, this is a neat little place that you can, in Blackboard, a little mini Blackboard lesson here, but you can customize the background of your Blackboard um, to fit these different colors and these different um, uh, backgrounds. You know, if you want a chalkboard here, or you know, if you're an English teacher and you want a composition book, that's pretty cool. You can also change the way your left-hand menu looks um, here. Anyway, the reason we're here is this part right here, select class entry point. And when I click on this, I'm going to get a drop arrow. You know, home page two, home page three, so that when students sign in, let's just make it home page three as a change. And we go down here and we're going to submit it like what we was doing Blackboard. Okay. And then, you know, you get to the customization page. If we go it back to SDW here and my listing of courses and I go in uh, to this class again, you'll see the page I come to first is the page I just embedded. Uh, and if I were to turn the edit mode to off, uh, you would more or less see it like a student might see it. Something a little more advanced, again, what's really cool here is you can maneuver within and navigate within the, um, the Google site and you're able to, um, to still go. Okay? All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.